Hello everybody, it's Sissy Mad Haven here today, and well, I'm going to be showing you guys my opinion now a few days after the EBRs have come out into the game. And as I said, I would be giving you guys an update how I feel about the EBR 105, how I feel about the line in a hole. However, I can't share how I feel about the line in a hole because I haven't played them all yet. I've only played the um, 105 and the Tier 8 Premium. Um, keep in mind... My hair is messed up. I look like a bum. This is my work hat. As you guys can tell, it's super freaking dirty. Uh, yeah, totally can say that's all sweat stain. But, EBRs, the first video that I made, it's got some pretty negative comments on it. I'm not really worried about that. People are entitled to their own opinion. I will never remove a bad comment to make myself look good. Those will stay there. And the reason why those will stay there is because... I want feedback. Feedback is always good to have. Now, yeah, always good to have. Let's talk about why I made that video the first day it came out. We wanted as much negative feedback on those tanks the second that they dropped about how they were performing. To give you guys an idea, what that influenced I wasn't the only content creator that did it. There were, ooh, that was gross. That was a burp. There were three other content creators that did it, including Eclipse. So added analog support for steering the wheeled vehicles. This allows players to control how much their wheels turn based on how far right or left the thumbstick is pushed. Now, these vehicles are still not even finished. They still need a little bit of work just because they're not turning to their fullest at the start. They still get stuck and they're not turning. You'll still see the wheels turn full bore and then you're just moving like this at low speeds. But the second you pick up your power to weight, that turning starts to really kick in. Now... I'm extremely happy that we had so much negative feedback on these tanks to fix these tanks. Um, the past few days, it is the 11th. Uh, the update happened on uh, the 8th, so it's been a couple days. What? No, no, I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. It wasn't the 8th. It was way before that. It was like the start of the month a couple days ago. As I'm being a Muppet, it, it was probably on the 1st. Was it the 1st? I'm double checking. Yeah, 8 days ago that I did that video. That is... Dude, you guys know what? It is crazy how much time flies on everything. So, EBR 105. Um, yeah, this line's going to be extremely devastating to go up and into. I have a couple of replays. Um, keep in mind... They're not the best matches that I've had inside the EBR 105. Um, some of my better matches that I had inside the EBR were actually extremely high up there. We're talking... I had a couple of games that I did quite a bit of damage and... Yeah. Quite a bit of damage and assist. We had one more... Oh, that's Progetto. Not showing that one off yet. Ha 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 ha. But, EBR 105, yeah, it, this thing is actually, once they added that steering control, it started to get really good, depending on the map you were on. And, I've pretty much been losing sleep the past few days, making sure that I'm looking at stuff the way that I'm supposed to be looking at stuff, and absolutely hurting my head. As you guys can hear right now, I just woke up. I'm a little tired. It's kind of the entire reason why I'm wearing the hat, because I look like a bum. I just look like a bum. That's all it is. I'm going to go making my tea here in a minute to wake up. Other than that, let's take a look at two replays inside this tank, and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. This is not a review of the tank yet, um, even though I've invested. Actually, before we start this replay, watch stars. Um, WOT Stars is probably one of the best stat recorders that you guys can ever use for World of Tanks, not Newegg or Twitter. 
or all the tanks or Samsung or free noise gate software because I'm trying to find a noise gate software for my actual mic. I have no idea what to use. If you guys have any recommendations for something to use just for passive calls or using it to uh, talk over Xboxes, I have no idea. Okay, but before I jump into this, um, statistics over the last 30 days, they're looking okay. Um, keep in mind, the 8th, I put in 62 matches. Okay? 39 of them were in the EBR. Um, the 9th, I put in 21 matches. Four of them were in the EBR. On the 10th, I put in uh, 21 battles. And uh, the EBR, I swear. There it is. I put one game in. Thing is, keep in mind, um, look at my overall statistics with the brain fart that I'm having. Here we go. 44 matches, 63% win rate. It's only a 22 21. But the combined total is 3,600 continuous. So these tanks, with that 190 base pin, they are struggling a little bit to do damage. Um, keep in mind, people are doing actually really good. So I've put a total of a brain fart in for matches. 44. I am six away from being able to review this tank. It's kind of the way that I look at it. So, yeah, they are definitely powerful tanks top speed advantage i'm kind of happy that they don't they don't go 91 forward like pc does um reload wise i do believe we do have a better reload than pc um with pc the way those ones are it's kind of ugh, a little bit of a difference now, if you guys are planning on grinding out these EBRs and getting your hands on them for yourself, keep in mind, track mechanic, the perk, it does not apply to these. I do believe general mechanic is the only one that works on the EBR tanks. Track mechanics, these tanks do not have tracks, so you will not be benefiting from that 25% repair speed bonus on a damage to will. Um, over on PC, we're looking at a reload of 12 seconds. Here on console, keep in mind we also have a premium consumable that gives you a massive amount, and we have a perk for an additional 10% on our reload, which has really kind of limited the barrier between uh, Xbox and uh, PC, well, console and PC for uh, reloads. Light tanks, here we go, we got the end head 105. We have an 11 second reload, so yeah, we do have a better reload than PC. Okay, aim time 1.4 compared to 1.34, uh, dispersion value 0.38 compared to 0.36, but the thing is our accuracy perks are so strong. Um, switching rapid mode, switching cruise mode, instant transfer. Okay, view range, which is just outrageous at 360. A little bit too much view range there. Probably should have been like 3.30. But it is what it is. We can't really do too much about that. Now, this match here. Um, Westfield, the reason why I'm choosing to show off this match is because this position. This is a position I want you guys to see for any light tank players that play the game. I absolutely love coming right here. Um, instead of a light tank, you can just get to this position and you're, you're perfectly fine just it's one of the better spots because you can start to back up a tad bit take control of that and right here they're hitting the wheels doing damage to them keep in mind that is not a consistent thing where the only thing they hit is the wheels um with all the accuracy perks that we have in game uh ebrs are actually dying a lot easier than how they die on pc so every single factor that i had about these tanks saying that there's a chance these things are going to be ridiculous well, they are actually not that ridiculous. They're like any other light tank in the game, pretty much. Just, they're willed and have a lot more problems turning at lower speeds. But at higher speeds, they are extremely difficult to counteract. Um, they can still circle people. They still have the mobility to take full advantage of it in close quarter combat. So, you guys do plan on playing with the EBRs. Take it slow. You're going to get into those fights. Just slow down a tad bit. And... 
take control of your concealment factors that you have. Here we go. They're shooting the wheels again. We're just going to back off. And as you guys can see, like the full board turn right there. <laughs> you see the full turn, yet we don't even turn. That was one of the things I was talking about that they need to fix for the low speeds. So yeah, you know, negative feedback, it's totally okay. But keep in mind, I made the video on purpose. I made that video so we could get as much feedback as we could out there. I understand some people disagree and say that these tanks are perfectly fine. But the thing is, I don't want tanks coming into the game broken. So I'm going to give my feedback, I'm going to give my criticism, and hope that they work on them and they fix them. Now, with EVR's mobility, these things are actually in extremely insane snipers. And, um, also, I have been hearing a lot. I have a few sources that tell me that the E100 line is going to get buffed. I've also seen a couple of the screenshots as well of additional content. Not additional content, but just updates and, um concept and ideas for buffs but the entire e100 line might go through a complete buff originally i did see a tiger one buff that made me kind of scared because they were talking about bumping the turret from what was it 100 to uh like 160 that would have been way too much for that tier 7 not to mention that there's also tier 6 versions of that tank don't get me wrong there is the um black prince p43 but it's got a slower reload while the uh, Tigers don't have a slower reload. Those are just outright the way that they are. Now, with 190 base pin, with your standard runs on this thing, you do struggle to go through a tad bit. You do need to load that 240 heat. And 240 heat, it's just enough. And with the mobility that the EBRs offer, 190 penetration is not a limiting factor on these tanks. Just because you're able to move so fast that you can pretty much get on the side of a medium or a heavy and just take full control of the situation. Now, EBRs, they do suffer a little bit from driving uphill, which is kind of crazy to think that these things have like a 40 power to weight whenever they're in uh, rapid mode and that they struggle to be able to get up a hill. Or whenever you're making a turn, there are still a few things that need to be worked out on these. They don't have enough downforce, in my opinion. I would say downforce. Um, what I mean by downforce is like gravity holding it to the ground. So as you're moving around, it doesn't feel like you get full advantage of your terrain resistance. And right here, we're going to go ahead and show off how fast these things can turn. Unable to uh, get out of his view and still get taken down. So I paused the match after this happened and then went straight to the uh, score screen instead. But, yeah, EBRs, they're, they're not exactly the most overpowered thing in the game, but they are difficult to counteract. So this is a 8,000 combined match with 3,000 dealt, close to 3,000 dealt, you know, four away, and uh, 5,000 assisted, so not exactly... A 8k combined short like four damage, but I mean it's only four damage Now up next we're gonna be taking a look at match on Prokhorovka. This was not the best match that I had on Prokhorovka. This is um Just a, it's a mild match for these tanks But I choose these matches to show off just because of like what they're able to do and these are the bigger maps Westfield's more of a concealment map um I have not yet in the 46 games that I've played, or the 44 games that I've played in the EBR 105, uh, played in Himmelsdorf yet. Um, for some reason, this tank just doesn't see it. And it surprised me that I haven't seen Himmelsdorf yet with the EBR. Um, this thing, once they um, do all the buffs on it that we, the community kind of wants to see them put on it, uh, it will be a little bit more devastating, but it won't be by a tremendous amount. Um, these tanks do require quite a bit of focus in the middle of a match to control, think ahead, because your turn radius is such a wide arc, it's like a semi coming up, you know, wide turns, 
Uh, these things, if you're not paying attention, you're going to hit your teammates, you're going to hit a wall, you're going to hit a rock. Speaking of which, I have a couple of um, captures on Xbox and I'm actually going to show you guys before we're done with this. Just because of little things that happen and uh, how glitchy these tanks actually are. So, yeah, these things are actually extremely glitchy. They are not the most... easy tank to control per se or you, we still don't know what they're capable of doing because uh they were only in super testing for like three days apparently which is not enough time to super test a tank instead of a game at all it's just you they throw it together then they throw it in and uh then rather than paying attention to feedback they don't pay attention to feedback and they miss with it so keep in mind these two replays were actually before i found out that uh track mechanic is not useful on these tanks. Once I found that out, I took track mechanic off and replaced it with rapid loading on my French light tank crew because I wanted to play with this thing to its fullest potential, which required me to drop that. Now, this match, I chose this match because there's a Vanguard in the enemy team, there's a T100LT, you're able to see the mobility of this. I'm still learning it, just a tad bit. But since they added the actual control to how much you steer, they got a lot easier to control rather than just full sending it left or full sending it right. Which did is the entire reason why I made the first video just dissing on them. Because literally, dude, if you had no control over how much you can turn, that's just ridiculous. Because with tracks, you can turn one degree if you wanted to turn one degree. Wow, with these tanks, you had to do so many micro corrections that it just played against you. Now, console with all the accuracy buffs that we have, we have a lot of freaking accuracy buffs that PC would could only dream of doing that really our accuracy is just beyond through the roof. You lead a shell, you can almost lead it straight on and fire and you're guaranteed to guaranteed to hit all the time with all the accuracy perks, with the aim time improvements and invert stabs. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that can basically guarantee shots. And with the travel speed of the standard rounds in this tank and the 190 pin, it's kind of what I'm saying, like the 190 pin's not too bad. So as you guys saw, I did I was able to pull up, take a shot into the Waffle Pens 4 with almost pinpoint precision by just you know, while going 85 kilometers or 70 kilometers, however fast I was going at the time. And here we go. The Vanguard's going to pull up. And then with the accuracy the Vanguard has, even though they have really bad moving dispersion values, they're still able to hit us. Uh, T100 LT, keep in mind ramming. If you're ramming inside the EBR, the EBR is a heavy boy at 17 tons. But even though other tanks weigh less than it, they're still going to do more damage to it in a ram, just because this is a willed vehicle. You have wills, you don't have tracks, so you're going to take a lot more damage by those guys coming over. And this EBR is like timing it perfectly on when they come over, just because it's the second time he's caught me in a straight line. He has that plan to come over the hill. Oh, that's my timer to wake up. It's kind of funny how that goes off. Tells me how long I've been recording. Oh, 18 minutes. Okay, we're, we're we're in this a little bit. But EBRs, you know, it's like I, I'm not afraid to stop and tell people, hey, these things are actually bad. You know, it's just the fact that I, I'm here to think about like you guys, how much money you invest in the game, and everything else, if it's worth investing the money or anything. Just like the entire reason why I don't recommend buying the primed or loaded packs. Um, yeah, the loaded packs, the last one I bought. Yeah, as I said, I was going to be making a rant video. I never did. I'm still going to try to. Now, right here, I'm looking at the EBR. I'm looking at my hit points, and I'm thinking, I actually kind of want him to shoot me. I want him to lower my health a little bit more. So I don't want to kill the Vanguard just yet. But the thing is, you know, I'm thinking, he's got a three-round autoloader. And this is going to be really scary. 
Um, one thing I want you guys to keep track of right away is actually the bottom right in my mini map. I want you to look at uh, look at my current view range, how much I take up on the screen, and just how big that is. So thinking, most light tanks that are going to be tier eight, they are fast, and they don't have 105s. Most of the time, light tanks only have access to uh, 90 millimeters, so 240 base alpha, or they have a high penetration, high explosive round that does quite a bit of damage and it can be a little bit chunky right here I'm trying to actually bait the vanguard coming over just because I want him to shoot me one more time that's all I want because I run last stand on a lot of my light tanks I've been falling in love with last stand so I want to try and give him an opportunity to knock down my hit points so then I can actually just roll off and go do something else but I don't want to get hit by any of the uh, heavies or mediums that are still left alive and there we go Right there is what I'm talking about for the full control. As you guys saw, the thing came to just a complete dead stop. There we go. That's the one thing I wanted. Now it's time to just stay out of the range of view of the Vanguard. And there we go. We have the MX-30 hitting him from across the way. Now, look at the minimap. Look at how much that view range has increased by. My reload, everything on this tank is now just absolutely insane accuracy is increased everything is increased just because I got below 10% hit points terrain resistance is also increased and I would like to see something that would apply these statistics to everything I would like to see what these statistics to to my tank inside the garage that way I can actually take a look at how much we improved by because I, I still don't know if last stand improves what perks you currently have equipped or if it's based upon some other factor but right here you know it's just oh I remember I remember that shot I was complaining that they buffed the 268 version 5 then again you know they're, they, they're buffing off statistics which is a very flawed system because we don't have enough people playing the tanks I'll uh, talk about that in further detail in a later video in the rant video more than likely just because, yeah, I'm getting ready to rant. Now, EBRs, no. They're not overpowered. Totally not. Totally not. Like, I can circle people. I can load high explosives, do 524, and be the only tank that's able to circle them, you know. Um, do multiple matches that are 10k combined and just not be recording at all. Um, have multiple matches doing 9k combined. And just having them on very specific match being absolutely outstanding and how hard to uh, counter. So coming back after we take a look at the statistics here. So yeah, this 2,000, 4,000 assisted. Not exactly the most fantastic match, but a match nonetheless. It wasn't a bad match. It wasn't a good match. We're going to be taking a look at... Um, two recordings This will be the first one and uh, Yeah, if you guys are playing inside EBR and you've experienced this there are a couple of things that Can actually be really bad by the way. This thing is super loud. I do believe but I'll uh, I'll let it run it is in lower quality just because it's re it's recorded through Xbox and Yeah, that's just how it's gonna be I am just waking up for the day as well. And hello tree, how are you today? Oh my, trees. Trees and because trees can actually slow you down in game, that you will experience that happening if you hit a tree. All right, so we got one more, which is kind of funny. Uh, but what was really funny about this was people were all like, do a kickflip. I sent this to a couple of friends, and yeah, they were all like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, do a kickflip. So, yeah, you know, it's like, that. now that they're in public matchmaking, a lot more sketchy stuff is going to happen. Um, one of the sketchy things being this. So many shots came flying past me, and I did a full-on flip. Um, I do have 
one more. I have no idea what it is. Or even what tank it's in. Uh, we have this one, which is another recording. I don't even remember what this was, but I'll take a look at it anyways. Oh, this is me getting ran by a teammate. Yeah, let's not show that one off. Um, there were people team killing because people free XP'd, so they came over and rammed you to slow you down, make you come to a stop and get you killed. And, yeah, you know, those kind of players, don't approve of them. They're uh, not helpful at all. That does not look like an EBR barrel. Oh, okay, here we go. I record every single time I get hit by artillery, and it's an outrageous amount. For instance, I'm, I'm pretty safe against any tank inside this scenario. There's no problem. I'm actually just going to fast forward to this. No, I'm not. Because it's pretty soon. So, artillery, they do need a massive rebalance. Just because that's an AP round that hit me right there. Set me on fire as well. Artillery, they shouldn't be able to do that much damage with an AP round. That's absolutely outrageous. Especially on a map like that. For how close, close quarters it is. Um, there's not a lot of distance that they need to be able to fire to hit you with an AP round. People have been doing it a lot more on that map. And it's getting way too consistent. And their damage ratios at the end of games on those maps are just way too high. So it's map balancing. But in fact, artillery is way too powerful depending on how close they are to the target. Um, I've been seeing a couple more backline supporters that are actually moving with the team using AP shells now, and they are doing a lot more damage than what they should be doing, so it is a little bit outrageous. But other than that, it is what it is, and I'm going to be making a rant video. Um, you guys have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is that you guys are catching this. Uh, other than that, I'm actually getting back in the streaming. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of that and trying to not slack off as much. But my opinion of the EBRs, they're not overpowered. They are extremely strong, however, in close quarters combat. They are extremely strong. Whenever it comes down to, like, the last few tanks left in the game, they're just an unpredictable tank to go up against. They're still difficult to control inside of city maps, but not as much as they were the first couple days that they were released. They have been fixed. You do have control on how much you're steering, rather than just going full bore and just throttling it into a wall because it goes from 0 to 100. That was something that needed to be fixed. I'm very happy it got fixed within the first few days of it being out. Um, if you guys want to know too, I did redo my ammunition loadout as well. I didn't have a whole lot of settings down there at the bottom of the screen. But, yeah, they are not too bad. They're pretty bad. You can, with these tanks, you can spot out 14 enemies at the very start of a battle and almost spot the entire team to give your entire team early information where everyone's going. They they can be a little outrageous, but with all the accuracy buffs that we have, I'm not worried about people missing these consistently at mid-range to long-range. Um, but if the player is smart inside these tanks, these tanks will be extremely devastating. Other than that, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys all another day. Hopefully it will be within like four days rather than eight days or two weeks. At least it's weekly by this point. But yeah, you guys. I'm going to try not slack off so much. I'm going to try and get back into it as much as I can. And do like maybe a consistent three-day upload to four-day upload. But, you know, that's, that's just a goal. I'll try. I'll try my best. But other than that, yeah, I'm going to have some fun. I got one day off this weekend. I'm excited about that, too. Alrighty. I'm going to go get ready for the day. It's going to be fun.